What's up, beautiful people? Today we're gonna to be checking out Bill Burr. No reason to hit a woman. Obviously, this is gonna be a comedy, so don't get too offended, but I understand. All right, so let's check it out. I've been enjoying these comedies, reactions. I'm really doing them a lot. So uh, let's check out Bill Burr. And Bill Burr just seems so hilarious to me. All right, all right, good. Let's go. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for the view, and they started talking about <laughs> domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, oh. they didn't get the memo. You know? <laughs> Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? <laughs> It's gonna fucking rust! Right? <laughs> do you not know not to do that shit. Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for. Oh! Uh -huh. fuck, ah, now I get it. Ups a daisy, sweetheart. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, so at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason <laughs> to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. <laughs> if you wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. <laughs> oh. Plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. Yeah. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. <laughs> the level of ego behind that statement. <laughs> you levitating above the rest of us. You're never annoying. Ooh. Ooh. Facts. Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? A lot of times they do that. A lot. There they... you go. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do it. Right? <laughs> oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that oh. she's going to stay in. Yeah. No yeah. Ooh. I'm not Ooh. saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking <laughs> reasons in that arc of a story. Big facts. Ooh. Ooh. All right, that was a hypothetical. <laughs> you want an actual story? I'll Let's get, get it. it. I'll get yes, it. yes, Bill Burr. Yes, yes, Bill Burr. Playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's. Because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? This, this <laughs> so I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? <laughs> like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. I'll be fine, right? Next morning, I wake up. My foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up my girl. I go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this solid? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you yes. always got to, like, waterboard yes. like a 20-minute yes. explanation that it yes. finds its way around to go yes. back Just say no. <laughs> so I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> So now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's. Uh -oh. Bullshit. Dogs walking next to me. <laughs> 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 but I got to admit, I got a little. Oh, jeez. I did. I got a little childish. You know, I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in. You just do whatever the hell you want to do. All right. And fuck me. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast walking around the house. That's what I'm going to do. Mm. So that's what I did. Turn that's never going to end. I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her. Like I that's did. never going to end well. That was it. She came down the hall. I just ghosted her. Just walked Ooh. right past her. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I got to tell you something. Work like a charm. <laughs> like a charm. <laughs> yeah. I my coat up. Turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song. That I was yeah. Singing. It's one of the highlights of the relationship. <laughs> so I knew what she was saying. I was like, whatever. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? 
So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, now, we're gonna talk about this right now. Comes out, poo, and slaps the headphones off my head. Ooh. I got, big, I got big ears, it fucking hurt! <laughs> so I'm like, honey, leave me alone, I don't wanna talk about it. Put the headphones back on, she comes right back up again. Poo, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. <laughs> Caveman DNA starts coming up. <laughs> teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? Put them on third time. She comes up, poo, slaps them right across the room, and I snap. I'm like, fine. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. <laughs> we'll discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> Right yes, I yes. Roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. <laughs> Just leave her there till she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You've made your point. This is, this is ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it happens. Really, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. Yep. How are you going to solve it if you don't figure it out? Yes. Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? Yep. You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? That is so true. Yep. Why is that? What is that? What does is, what is answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special <laughs> during the bit? Like, around, like I'm not fucking taking this with you. Oh, gotta ask some room, right? Now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense. I was about about to say that. I made no answer sense. Answer him. Answer him. <laughs> Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> always right down the fucking middle. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. Ooh. I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Not I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> fucking unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman is a bad thing, okay? Well, you, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I got bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? Yeah. Right? How did it happen? Yeah. Did you not see it? Were you <laughs> fucking with it? <laughs> how did a snake get That's stranded? true. It almost killed you. That is true. Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Yeah. Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. <laughs> that. That's not, it does sound like it. French, then. Okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tune a casserole, and just start swinging. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison. Okay? Yes, yes, that's if true. I can admit that. Ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh. He has two minutes for instigating, right? That is true. Stand. That is true. Back and forth happened before that shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say the guy's a piece of shit. Fuck this guy. Chris Bible Brown. Him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, Chris I'm not Brown should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude. In your heart of hearts, <laughs> what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, "Oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream?" And he fucking. <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said. Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. Right? Oh, yeah. That... To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh, my God. I'll bring my own. I'll bring my own. <laughs> 
huge. Now fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which nope. I think is the core of a lot of that shit. You know, and I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued, but after 20 years of losing every significant battle <laughs> in a relationship, <laughs> I finally figured out how they argued. And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. A winning for All right, Bilbur. I wanna hear this. That's how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. Mm, mm. No problem with that, totally respect it. But okay. here's the thing, if they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. <laughs> they start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed, this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. Yep. That's what it is. Yes. And cunt trumps yes. all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that. That is true. No reason to call me a cunt, and then <laughs> you're in this room now. Oh my right? God, that's so true. That is so that true. Is my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old. You know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple. Turn it down. <laughs> 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 So I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, out of nowhere, she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, oh, 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 I'd lose my shit. <laughs> the next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? <laughs> so if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, <laughs> just know this, next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, Okay, you're winning, and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment, you've won the you fight. You won. Okay. Yeah. All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Yeah. Because you got a little dick. Just let that slide. <laughs> stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay. Okay, it's over. The argument is over. You've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock. All right? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Lean on the ropes. I'm going to do that. Punch themselves out. I'm going to do that. You throw this psychology right back at him. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> Man, they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. <laughs> Who cares? You rub one out. Yeah. Rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. <laughs> <laughs> it's a champagne of victory. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh my god, yeah. I, I generally enjoyed that. That was uh Bill Burr is killing it, man. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna find more, man. I gotta find more. But for sure, this has actually been a really, really good one. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.